Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu 22.04 in your Windows 10 machine. So let's get started. First of all, press the Windows key and open Start menu and type TURN. Turn. So you need to open this Turn Windows feature on or off. If it is not showing just by writing Turn, you can go ahead and write Windows feature on or off. Or you can also open it using Control Panel. So when you have this, click on Turn Windows feature on or off. And this Windows feature dialog box will pop up. Now you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and here you will see Windows subsystem for Linux. Now click on this checkbox right next to it so that this is selected and then click OK. Now this will search for some required files and this will enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Now after this you can install Ubuntu in your Windows 10 machine. Before proceeding, after doing that you need to restart your PC. So restart your PC and come back to this video again. After you've restarted the PC, press the Windows key again and go to Microsoft store now from here we will download ubuntu and install it let it open after your microsoft store is open you need to search for ubuntu here make sure you have internet connection because this needs internet and now this is the version that we want to install right 22.0.4.6 because this is the latest one so we'll click on this and to install it you just need to click get This will take some time. It will download and install Ubuntu. So as you can see here, it is showing the message starting download. And now it is downloading. So now as you can see, the total size of the file is 542.5 MB. 43 MB. So it will take quite some time to download. I'll come back to you before the download is complete. So after Ubuntu 20.04.6 is downloaded completely, you need to click on this open button. So click on this open button and a command prompt window will open and that will show you a message installing. This may take a few minutes. Now what this is doing is this is setting up and installing Ubuntu. After it is complete, it will ask you for your Ubuntu's username and password. So take a few minutes. Now enter your username. I will just write Michelle. Enter your password and enter the same password again. Make sure you remember this password because you will have to use this password once you start using Ubuntu. Now the operation is completed successfully but it's still doing something so it will take a few minutes again and after it is done you will be open you will be able to enter into Ubuntu terminal and you will be able to run all the Ubuntu commands. So it will show a message installation successful but it will still take some time and now we are inside our Ubuntu machine. So as you can see here it shows you Welcome to Ubuntu 20.04.6. Now, you can also check the version by going, by writing this command. Now, this will show you all about your distribution. And we are now, this is now completely an Ubuntu machine or an Ubuntu operating system. So, if you open this, it is like a complete Ubuntu system. And you can just close it. And let me, let me show you how to open this again. So you can go to your command prompt again and you need to type ubuntu. Now from here you will be able to open it. And now this is a complete Ubuntu operating system. You can you can write all the Linux commands here and it will work. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments below. 